that I, I learned this years ago from A. A. Allen. I don't know if you've ever known A. A. Allen. I sat in his service when I was a little bitty boy in St. Louis, and they said, it was sawdust floors in a tent. And I got this from me in his book. And, and I won't get into it, there's a whole sermon there. But uh, remember Peter, uh, that he was, he was a wealthy man, and he was a, a fisherman. And the Bible said he owned ships, and he had men servants and maid servants. You know, so he was wealthy. He owned ships, fishing vessels. And, uh, and, he, and, and so he told Peter, he says, he says, leave your business, come and follow me, and we're going to keep on fishing, but you're going to be a fisher of men. And so now Peter comes to Jesus, and I don't know how long later it was, maybe six months later, his bills were piling up. And so he comes to Jesus, I think this is right around Matthew chapter 17, I'm thinking that's where it's at. And so Peter says, you know, we got some bills here, Jesus. And so <clears throat> Jesus said, Peter, go down to the seashore and catch one fish. I want you to catch it a bunch, just catch one, because see, you're, you're a fisher of men. You're obeying what I've asked you to do. And he said, just catch one fish. And he says, the money will be in the fish's mouth. And it was. It was enough money to pay all of Peter's bills and all of Jesus' evangelistic team. And he's paying for their housing, their food, and their bills, and everything. Just one. And, and, and the key. See, he, what he was really teaching, and Jesus does this so many times. How many times do you get a dream and you'll see vision? You'll see maybe a loved one, an angel, or you'll see Jesus uh, and and it's just like, why don't you just be real plain and tell me exactly what you want me to know? But you'll get something and it'll be like a parable. And the reason is God wants you to, he loves you so much that he's not going to tell you the whole story because there's too many human beings. If they get the whole story, it's adios amigos. I don't need you until I'm in trouble again. But if he just gives you a little bit, then you'll spend a lot of time talking to him and, and get the full message of what's being said. And what he was teaching Peter is real plain. If you'll be a fisher of men, I'll pay all your bills. And I learned that concept. When the Lord told me that, I've never, ever, ever tried to put any, any pressure on anybody, anybody to give money to me. I focus on which... Okay. I focus on winning the lost, and God pays all the bills. He pays all the bills. I can go to any place in the whole world that I want to because I know how God pays the bills. When I focus on winning the lost, that's my major focus. I'm going to win the lost. God pays all the bills. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and so what I'm saying is God's major concern is people. If you get interested in people, God gets interested in you. And see, when you get out there and get on visitation ministry, I'm telling you that you're getting interested in people. And God gets interested in you. Remember this. The money is in the fish's mouth. Say that out loud. The money is in the fish's mouth. You'll be a fisher of men. God will take care of you in every area of your It's amazing. He's made it so